I'm about halfway there. up I got to Silver Lake and I'm on my way to Silver Glance Lake now it's seven tenths of a mile I think to there but it's a lot of elevation gain and then Excalibur is up there I think too so I need to find that <laughs> swimming in that one on my way back. So I'm pretty darn sure that I am going to have to go up that, which is really steep. Um, I'm going to check out some, map, some maps some more just to make sure because I'm not climbing up there just for the fun of it. I am solely climbing because I want to find the silver. <laughs> So I made it to the top, um, let's see, wait, what, there it is, it's broken, which is a huge bummer, someone pulled on it too hard, but it's super cool, you can see, um, see Silver Lake, and then that's the lake that you park at right there, and you drive past that one, I think you can go and park at that one too, but, um, that's kind of where the trailhead is. I'm sitting at home and realized that I didn't make an outro, so I obviously finished the trail. Um, it was pretty busy on the way back, especially from Silver Lake to the parking area, and then the reservoirs were so busy, full of people. It was a lot of fun jumping in the lake, well, diving the lake. <laughs> um, I think people were weirded out by it but oh well um 
I think it'd be cool to camp up up there. The Silver Glance Lake, I don't know if it's super worth it. I mean, it's cool, but it's kind of like just a pond. Um, I mean, if you're camping up there, it, it's a great spot. It's kind of secluded, but there's some spots that you can find away from the trail. Um, but I mostly went up there to find the sword, and I found it, which is really cool. And so, I mean, I would recommend that. Just going up to Glance Lake and then looping up to Excalibur. Um, I am extremely tired, as it always goes. I would definitely recommend uh, Silver Lake Trail. Um, I think I hiked around seven-ish miles. Hopefully you enjoyed, and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.